Pretty sweet saxophone, eh? Here we go. We have the mocked up saxophone tube. <laughs> Pretty crazy looking. So I'll explain the parts real quick. This is from a 2.2 intake. I just cut it, you know, right at a 45. This is the stock 2.2 turbo intake. So when the man, well, when the throttle body is pointing backwards, it fits onto the turbo right here perfectly. Crazy looking piece. And then this little segment came from a WRX intercooler pipe. Here's the saxophone in place. And you can see that it's lining up pretty well with the output of the turbo. Just need a silicone sleeve to go over that. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too funky. Kind of, kind of odd. Looks like an old school like muffler if it was chrome. <laughs> but I don't think it looks too bad. At least until I get a intercooler situation figured out at some point. I changed it up just a little bit. I uh, took the WRX pipe out and put a 90 silicone bin. I think this is just better. It eliminates one extra connection. So has a little bit of flex, but not much. Here's an idea for how the intake is gonna sit. A mass airflow sensor into a stock Subaru, a 90 degree bend down to a silicone uh, coupler. And you know, then the cone filter will sit right here. So the reason why I'm going with this is because the stock original equipment junk is just junk it's totally brittle and nasty and uh, I've never been able to find this piece um, used or otherwise used ones are all cracked up to eBay can't source it here is a JDM Subaru WRX um, intake assembly and it has this plastic fitting with this you know, lock nut on the back. Almost looks like a conduit lock nut. Anyway, this is how Subaru did it with this little gasket. I might do something similar. Here is the idle air control valve right here and it goes right into this 90 degree Subaru elbow. Very similar to the JDM uh, Subaru WRX um, idle air control valve and PCV valve. So it's just a nylon um, nipple. The PCV venting goes very similarly, except the side it's a brass, because that's what I had. This goes to an oil catch can, which sits under the fender here. And you can see it right there. And the black line right there then goes to the two heads and the crank case vent goes from the heads to the crankcase, then down to the oil catch can, then up to here. The blow off valve just sits right here and here's the line going to the intake manifold and it just vents to atmosphere right here. It's loud. <laughs> So I might do something about that at some point. I have the empty spacers for the engine hatch. You can see it kind of just sits off of the normal surface there a little bit. And that provides just enough room for this cone air filter. And that is the intake system. And it works really nicely.